so today we'll be discussing on the indirect or iterative method uh, which includes the jacobi method gauss seidel method and gauss jacobi method among which i have already told you that i will be discussing these two jacobi and gauss seidel method so why this indir uh, indirect or iterative methods are required so first you understand what do you mean by direct method and what is indirect method so in case of direct method it produces the solution so you are doing that uh, row operations how many times you are doing here you are doing is uh, let's say it's a four times you are doing in the previous cases we have seen you are doing two times okay so in this case you are doing three times so you can count that how many times you are doing that row operation to get the exact value in case of iterative method what we will do we don't have that library so in the iterative method i'll be assuming any value first and from that value i'll be reaching nearest to that exact solution suppose the exact solution is uh, uh, x and i'm starting from x0 then next uh, assumption will be x1 x0 will give you the value x1 and so on you will be reaching near to the uh, let's say x xn which is where xn is near to x suppose x ka value hai 1.5 and the x1 you are getting is 1.2 or uh, let's say 1.45 so it's near to x but you are not getting the exact solution to get the exact solution you have to do infinite number of iterations iterations means step by step wise uh, uh, update means uh, these things or this iterative concept is very common for the modeling what we do generally let me give you a modeling example then i will discuss the iterative method and how this work okay so uh, suppose there is a subsurface structure which you don't know because you are not digging the uh, trench so you don't know how many layers are there what is the physical parameters are there and you are considering two physical parameters p1 uh, this uh, layer is consisted of p1 um, r1 let's say like uh, let's say it's a resistivity survey you are doing so it's a resistivity row 1 and the thickness is h1 uh, this is row 2 h2 and it's a three layer surface is a row 3 h3 so you don't have any idea uh, like let me color it so this is a red layer let's consider this is a black layer and below of which you have the green layer so you don't have th this kind of arrangements are having and so what you will do to get this idea because you are not digging it by seeing the data what you will be doing you will be first assum uh, assuming a uh, initial model of the subsurface so you are considering that whole layer is made up of I have whole subsurface is made up of green layer. Okay, so green means any physical parameters I'm mentioning. Okay, so uh, I'm giving you just a idea about that. So I'm considering it's a green. Then in the next step, you will get that okay, it's not uh, totally green. It's some of the portion is made up of green, and some of the portion are made up of black, but not in the same fashion you will be getting. So after doing several iterations, you will have similar kind of structures. So how you will get the structure? So this is for first iteration, for the second iteration, you will get another type. So your models will be updated in each case and you will reach nearest to that original model or the true model by comparing the data or for from the data. It's called the modeling in the iterative method we do the same thing that first we start with the initial approximation to the solution i don't know the value of x suppose the value of x i don't know so what i will do i will consider the solution uh, i'm considering less the solution is x0 then i will feed that solution in the equation linear systems 
and i will see okay it's not fulfilling so what will be the next uh, value of the variables then that will be the x1 for the first iteration then x2 and so on you will be reaching uh, like after k theta reason k is a finite number or uh, after k theta reason suppose x k whatever the value you are getting is near to the x so this is how generally iterative method works okay now you may ask me sir uh, we are good with the we were actually good with the gauss elimination method and there is another direct method uh, i didn't uh, I didn't discuss that is the Gauss Jordan method. This is Jordan. So this is uh, this is a similar kind of uh, method like the Gauss elimination. But here, what you will do, you will be uh, transforming any a matrix. So a is a square matrix. Okay, so you'll be transforming any square matrix into the diagonal matrix. So suppose the diagonal elements are A, B, C. So this will be zero. This will be zero. You got the idea, right? So what you will be doing? You will be doing the this element zero, and by the doing the row transformation, you will be doing this zero. So that you will have only the diagonal element. So that that's uh, uh, that's fall answer under direct uh, direct uh, analytical method and it's called Gauss Jordan method. It's slight modification of the Gauss elimination method. But why we are not using the Gauss elimination method or the Gauss Jordan method? So what happened here? So two things can happen, and where generally these things fail. Most of the cases, in practical cases, or in case of modeling or anything, we generally go for, um, we generally go for the Gauss, uh, iterative method. Why? Because the Gauss, uh, Gauss elimination method may fail in two cases. When one of the pivot you are choosing is coming to zero. Suppose this is a very large matrix and you are solving 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 and it's coming to zero one of the pivot and you have no other option to do it so so whenever you, you will be dividing anything by zero that gives you infinity so it gives you the infinite sense or infinite result that's why when it uh, one of the pivot is zero one of the pivot then it doesn't work next condition is it doesn't work when the pivot uh, value is very small so small when the pivot you are choosing small or you have no other options to do then you will be getting uh, error and I as I told in your last class that error leads to more error in the numerical analysis so at the end of the uh, it at the end of the uh, transformation and all you will get a large error in your solution okay in two cases generally Gauss elimination method fails that's why we consider the iterative method and this iteration method or iterative method are uh, very much um, mm, what I can say very much uh, interesting let me discuss on that so first method we'll be discussing that is called the jacobi method okay so what do you mean by jacobi method let's start with the jacobi method first we'll be discussing with the uh, so how we, we will do this jacobi method or iterative method first i will discuss what's the basic funda the theory I will be discussing. Second, I will discuss uh, the example and what's the inside of that example, how generally things are done. At the end, I will discuss how you will write in the or how you will solve in the exam. What is the writing style? What are the writing styles you can adapt? How easily you can write in a tabular form? Okay, and which is 
uh, kind of legal or which is acceptable okay so let's start with the jacobi method in case of jacobi method consider this is the system a o 1 1 x 1 a 1 2 x 2 and this one b 1 b 2 up to b n and let's assume it has an unique solution we know how to find that at a 1 by a 2 equal not equals to a, a um, a by b not equals to uh, c by d you remember the first, cl first class right so let's assume it has an unique solution now let's solve this equation for x1 I'll, I'll find the value of x1 so what will happen rest of the things will be uh, mm, mm, will be going this side and uh, the sign will be changed so it's in a plus in the left hand side it will be minus in the right hand side and it will be divided by a11 similarly for the second equation i will find x2 for the third equation i will find x3 and so on okay write this down write this down Just let me know whenever you complete this writing. Now, now for the first step, I am assuming a value of x1, x2, x1, x2, xn, uh, these are called the roots or these are the solutions. These solutions you have to find out. Some people use this x, y, z, but I am using x1, x2, x up to xn. So first I am assuming the what should be the value of x1, x2 and xn by seeing the equation or uh, in this case I will be starting with 0 okay so in case of modeling example i have given the modeling example i have given here so first you will be seeing the data so suppose you could assume that it consisted of uh, not only the blue, uh, blue uh, green layer but also the black layer okay so that you can easily converge to the equation in both the cases so in your last class you remember that in case of numerical analysis I told you that you have to you will become a hero if you minimize the CPU time or the computation time or if you minimize the error two things you have to remember so by doing so you can minimize the CPU time whatever so for the first step I am considering a initial guess x0 then the then for the first iteration I will be doing x1 and the iteration value I am writing here. This is not to the power, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 no, uh, no, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. It will be 82. Thank you. Who was saying? Saganik, yes. Correct this everyone. Okay. Now I am considering a initial case and then I will be doing the first iteration. So first iteration will be uh, x1 then 1 by a11 and this value. So one thing you should notice that i know the x2 x3 xn value from the previous iteration 
initial guess means it's a better than zero or it is the starting point so i am putting that value here so i what i have assumed i have put i put that value i got the value x11 now for the second iteration i know this value okay for the second iteration this value will be updated okay a uh, rest of the value will be updated as all uh, like this way so from this equation will be finding the x suppose uh, this is x1 you are calculating so x1 it will be 0 0 0 for x2 similarly for uh, the first iteration you will be having uh, x0 0 means the starting uh, value now for the second time what will happen so for the second iteration and here you will be uh, putting you will be putting the value of the first iteration the known value similarly this concept you should understand so the past value or the recent value will be or the updated value will be putting there and you will get the value at second iteration for the third iteration i'll be putting the previous iteration uh, result okay by this way we'll be doing the jacobi method it's very easy so it looks like or it may looks like uh, uh, it's a complicated thing but it's not and so on okay now let's solve this problem 8x1 plus x2 minus x3 equals to 8 2x1 plus x2 plus 9x3 equals to 12 x1 minus 7x2 plus 2x3 equals to minus 4 now i will discuss the style number one so what i will do i will discuss the style number one there are two style you can do or you can adapt if you are not confident enough with your calculation then i'll suggest you to go through this style or otherwise you can write in a tabular form okay so style number one is what you will do first i have to uh, write the sorry so uh, first write down this example 8x1 x2 minus x3 So uh, first write down this set of equations. Done, no? So uh, let me write this down uh, here also. So I'm writing here that uh, the equations are 8x1 plus x2 minus x3 equals to 8 2x1 plus x2 plus 9x3 pardon my handwriting because i'm writing with mouse only i don't have xp pen or anything else x1 minus 7x2 plus 2x3 equals to minus 4 i know it's not audible uh, readable uh, but this is the this far i can do now what i will do uh, i will do i'll go for a first solution or, or the first assumptions so i'll write our initial assumptions or initial guess what are the initial guess i'm considering x1 you will be putting zero on the uh, superscript so in the superscript portion you will be putting in the bracket zero that means it's a zero at iteration or is the initial guess okay so i'm the easiest way the easy way uh, you will be considering uh, the, the x1 is 0 x2 is 0 okay so add uh, iteration 0 and everything is 0 for the first iteration iteration okay so you'll be writing x1 uh, in the zero iteration, x2 at the zero or zero iteration, x3 at the zero iteration equals to zero. That's the big zero. Write this down in properly. Okay. Now, for this equation, what I will do, I will find C 
see, see there is a trick uh, to solve this kind of equation and that will be discussed later so you have to consider the diagonally dominant and how this will work so after doing one or two example or after solving one or two problems you can understand so here i can what i'll do i will um, um consider the the first let me find out the value of x1 the value of x1 could be found out by 1 by 8 okay so um it will be 8 minus x2 plus x x3 am i right am i right everyone okay now uh, i'll cal calculate from this equation from this equation i'll be calculating the value of x2 x2 equals to 1 by 2 Uh, 12 is it 12 right 12 yes 12 minus uh, it's not 2 right yes, sir. okay so okay so here I'll be uh, it it will be 1 so it will be 12 minus 9 x3 minus 2x1 or minus 2x1 minus 9x3 and from that equation from th here I'll be calculating the x3 value x3 value will be coming around 1 by 2 minus 4 minus uh, x1 plus 7x3 check this okay am i right 7x2 huh? yes yes 7x2 check this okay yes, sir, done. Uh, done so uh, i couldn't write it properly but you should write it properly now what i'll write here i'll be writing for the uh, first um, okay I cannot move um. uh. okay so um now i'll write that first iteration iteration at the first iteration what i will get x1 of 1 for the first iteration i am writing this again okay so for the first iteration what you will write x1 1 write this down a 1 by 8 8 minus x2 uh, 0 this will be 0 and x3 at 0 the iteration for x2 1 you will be doing x3 uh, 0 and 2 uh, x1 0 so you will be writing of the first iteration this value will be writing this again okay for your own understanding i told you this step is uh, kind of you have to write more uh, but is uh, for the people who are not confident with, the, with their uh, uh, easy calculation skills so so this is the style here style one is about you are not doing any step jumps or a, you are not uh, doing any kind of calculation which uh, might be confusing so x1 1 will be your uh, uh, the value at first is the iteration 
then you will be putting and similarly for uh, the x3 you will be writing x0 so after doing this these things you will be writing this uh, in here again for the first iteration okay now find me the value of x11 find me the value of x28 first iteration and find me the value of x3 x31 sagnik minus 2 minus 2 is it coming to everyone is it the outcome for everyone yes okay yes, now for uh, then i will write is a second iteration now you have the uh, formula here uh, no need to write again if you want to write be my guest but no need to write then x1 as second iteration will be writing so for the second iteration what will happen uh, this will be for the second iteration this will be one this will be one so the value you have in your hand the updated value of x2 this will be so put this value here and put this value here and uh, you will get the value of x12 similarly put this value uh, here for the second iteration for the second iteration let's so for the second iteration you'll be getting put this value here i uh, put the first iteration value here the result from the first iteration will be putting here got my point and so on now do the third iteration and then do the sixth iteration i'll told you uh, uh, in generally for uh, your exam i generally to uh, um, i generally told you that you have to do up to sixth iteration okay so this is the this is one style it's kind of uh, lengthy in terms of writing but it will give you the um, value uh, more uh not more accurately means koi mistake nahi hoga tumse is technique ko karne ke baad so this is not a shortcut technique now another legal or acceptable technique is uh, let's discuss about style 2 okay style 2 so for the style 2 what i will do i will be putting x1 r plus 1 sorry what i have in hand that i will be writing x1 equals to 1 minus sorry um do that uh, so if you do x1 1 minus 0 0.125 you might use this or you may go for or that other technique also or let's say for so it will be writing 1 by 8 okay so 8 minus x2 plus x3 that's your x1 so what will be the value at r plus 1 iteration at r bar plus 1 iteration it will be x r plus 1 okay then this value will be r at rth iteration and this value will be at rth iteration so whatever the value you are getting in the previous step that will be poor, uh, used as a input and you will have the output as r plus 1 iteration so similarly write this down similarly for the r plus 1 iteration uh, x x2 r plus 1 what will be the value of x2 r plus 1 write this down then what will be the value of x3 r plus 1 write this down you did right now after doing that what you will do you will make a table so your table will be this is the iteration and 
the value would be uh, our x1 x2 x3 so first iteration is 0 and I am assuming this part so that uh, is very convenient so 0 0 0 and by doing so in the first iteration putting this value of x1 x2 and 3 will have the uh, mm, value of x1 is 1 x2 is equals to 0 0.571 what did you get Sagnik? Yes. I see you. X three is coming around twelve. Um. Two x one x two. Yes, x two is twelve. X2 is 12 and uh, X3 equals to? X3 equals to? Minus 2. Minus 2. Now for the second iteration, you will be using only these values. So uh, these things is very easy because you mm, need not to write this first iteration and then you are calculating second iteration you are calculating. Just tabulate it. And after certain iteration, uh, suppose after 6 or 7, I will tell you say, do it up to 7th iteration. So up to 7th iteration or in this case you will be seeing that uh, these values are repeating. No, one thing I did miss here. Okay, one thing I did miss, I didn't mention here, uh, that's why we are getting uh, uh, this result that you have to do this in a diagonal, uh, diagonally dominant condition. That means 8x1 plus x2 minus x3 equals to 8. Okay, 2x1 plus x2 plus 9x3 equals to 12 and x1 minus 7x2 plus 2x3 equals to minus 4 okay so from this equation i have no objections because you have to uh, divide it so you'll be choosing not this one if the coefficient is one not this one you'll be choosing you have to consider the diagonally dominant conditions okay so how do you get a diagonally dominant condition if you rearrange this equation so if i write this equation as our second equation and this equation as our third equation then what i will get i'll be getting x1 minus 7 x2 plus 2x3 so the uh, minus 4 okay and then um, then I'll be writing this equation that 2x1 plus x2 plus 9x3 equals to 12 
if I write the diagonal element here or all element 8 1 minus 1 1 minus 7 2 2 1 9 so this is the simple trick you have to remember I to I thought I'll be saying this uh, later but you have to include this okay so your the amplitude value you'll be seeing here this way you can get a diagonally dominant condition so Jacobi method uh, occurred or happened in that condition or uh, in that case where diagonally uh, portions are more dominant got it Sagnik so from here you will be calculating you have to whatever you did just cross it and you have to do it uh, from here so your uh, here from here you will be getting x1 value equals to 1 by 8 and the result x2 value will be getting minus of 1 by 7 and the rest x3 value will be getting uh, 1 by 9 and the rest any question so that's the trick for the jacobi method uh, that you have to go for you have to look after uh, the diagonally uh, dominant condition and then you'll be doing it so uh, a sufficient condition for converse of the jacobi method is that the system equations is diagonally dominant okay and uh, in this condition we are considering so if the elements are written as a i j i is the row row um, i denoting the row j denoting the column we will be considering the mod value so the mod value of this would be 7 okay so this way this is the diagonally dominant condition so anyone do you uh, have any question If you have any question, just ask me. I know this got a little bit of confusing, but if you got any question, just ask me. Sir, if we are changing the equation, I mean the first equation will be x1 minus 7, x2 plus 2, x3 plus minus 4. Yes. Then x1 is equal to 1 by 8, how does it come? Because uh, there is x as 1 to not 8. No, no, 1 by 8, then you have to write the in the brackets, right? 8 from this equation 8 minus x2 plus x3. Got it? What, what, what uh, was your question? What was your question, Sagnik? Sir, if we are getting the x1 value from that equation, that 8x1 plus x minus x3 equals to 8. Yes. Yes, to get the uh, diagonally dominant condition. So, uh, in layman's term or in a simple term, what you have to look after? You have to look after that the value you are, you are getting, you are dividing with the largest uh, number. So, by this way, you can arrange this equation or this matrix in a diagonally dominant condition. If it is a diagonally dominant condition, then only you can do it by Jacobi method. Otherwise, you will not guide the result. Okay. So, whatever you did uh, previous to this slide, just erase it and do it freshly. So, now tell me the value of x1. Now, tell me the value of x2. Now, tell me the value of x3. So that's the only trick you have to remember. And that's the thing I didn't mention earlier because so so that you could remember it in your exam. That what you have to do. You have to do the diagonal dominant, otherwise you won't get the result. Yeah. Yes. 
since we are starting from an assumption, then how do we know that this is the unique solution of the equation? You will get, uh, I'll, I'll discuss, I'll discuss. First you, uh, so now we are uh, adapting for the style 2. We are not writing the first, first iteration, this is the result, second iteration, this is the result. Or rather, I am um, taking a table, okay. So, um, the table would be iteration. Now, this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 so this is 0 and 0 0 now value of first iteration sagnik okay x1 is 1 and x2 is 0 0.59 and x3 is 1.33 0.59 why you are approximating it go for uh, third or fourth decimal point that will be mentioned also so in your exam or anywhere i'll be mentioning that you go for the third decimal point or fourth decimal point so i'll suggest you to go for the fourth decimal point so what seats coming uh, really zero point zero point Five seven one. Yes, sir. Five seven one. Okay, zero point five seven one, and this one is coming around one point three three three. So this is our initial guess. Now do the second one. Sagnik, put the value for the second one. If you are taking so much time, then I'm saying you that you won't get any time to do solve the problems. You will always have a time crunch during the exam. So tell me for the second one. So it's coming around 1.095. Devani? Devjani or Devani? So that's the second one. Is it called Devani or De uh, Devjani? Devyani. Devyani. Okay. So Devani uh, is uh, mm, you are getting for the second iteration this value. What would be the value for third iteration? And how do you understand which will be your final result? There is two ways uh, to, to understand. First way I will be saying that do up to seventh iteration. So that will be your final result that's the conditional result secondly if you do or uh, solve this problem up to fifth or sixth iteration you will see that the values are not changing abruptly or the values are almost equal these values are almost equal then you will be saying that this is our whatever you will be having at the last iteration or you will be doing up to iteration number seven these values are same so the x1 value will be almost same x2 value will be almost same for 5 6 and 7th iteration and same goes for the x3 value then you will be saying this final result or final outcome whatever you are getting that's your answer okay so 
let me do a not acceptable uh, solution or calculation technique that is i'll be uh, using excel okay so i'll be using excel and uh, i'll see what what's the outcome here okay sagnik chup chap ho gaye kyun still so zero one that's our iteration i'm using the excel here so this is not acceptable you are not allowed to use excel you are not allowed to use excel or uh, this kind of any software let's say up to, i'm doing up to 10th iteration or i'm doing up to 7th iteration okay now first uh, i'll be calculating the value of x1 then i'll be calculating the value of x2 then i'll be calculating the value of x3 okay initial guess is 0 0 and 0 this is our initial guess is it visible to everyone is this visible to everyone yes, sir. okay yes, sir. okay but this is not acceptable or this is not a legal okay you have to do it by using the scientific calculator and all this is not for you but i'm checking the result like this okay and for x1 um bolna mujhe ke kya tha so it was 1 by 8 I'll be write the 8 later. So it was 8. Tell me. 8 minus. 8 minus x2. X1. 8 minus x2, right? 8 minus x2. Plus. 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 Plus x3. Plus x3. Simple x3. Yes, sir. Okay. So it's coming around this. And I did not what I did not do that is divided by 8 okay now for this one I'll be doing um, the value uh, values are uh, 12 minus minus what 2 no, for x2 sir, it will be yes 4 plus x1 plus 2 x3 4 plus, plus x1 x1 plus yes divided by seven. divided by seven any plus minus sign i'm missing no, sir, no. okay and see this is the result you are getting and for the x3 uh, 12 minus 12 minus 2 uh, star x1 Minus simple x2, no? Yes. And this x2 will be there. Okay. Division. Uh, divide, uh, divided by 9. Only, only 9. Okay. 1.111. 1 .1 it's coming. Yes. Less than 1.333. So I did write 1.333, 1 but it's coming 1.1. 1 .1, uh, some mistakes I did. Uh, so f3 uh, f3 not f3 okay you have to select the f f this will be uh, you told me that x1 right yes yes, sir, two x1. yes. so 1.333 now uh, what i will do i'll do this in easy way this is the next one this is third iteration up to seventh iteration see here you can see that um, at this iteration okay so at this iteration these values are means i'm i told you to consider up to third decimal point so these values are you can see up to fifth iteration these values are almost similar okay if this is not similar let's uh, go for uh, other iterations mm, 
no this is not giving you the exact result so at the first assumption these values are giving you almost similar kind of result one near to the one okay so this will be your final result So what you will write see here Gauss uh, sorry Jacobi method is not converging properly but this could be uh, if I told you that uh, this is the final result uh, go up to 7 iteration and almost 5 and 6 uh, up to if you see these 3 iteration these are giving you almost the same result some variations are there because I am doing with you with the help of computer you will be doing with the help of calculator but this will be your final result. This is how I'll do a Gauss, or oh sorry, a Jacobi method calculation. Got it? Now, solve this problem. Solve using Jacobi method. And in your next class, I'll be solving this with uh, Gauss Seidel method. So, solve this one. 5x1 minus 2x2 plus 3x3 what I told you you have to find the uh, diagonal dominant condition means you will be considering the magnitude not plus minus you will be considering so you will be seeing that kiska magnitude diagonally say here so ye already arranged here this is already aligned or this is already uh, diagonally dominant condition so you don't have to do anything else so 5, 9, 7 are there, so it's the largest diagonally dominant condition, so solve using Jacobi method and then we will be done. And I will suggest you to adapt the style too, that you will be following the tabulation format and you will be doing it. So what you will have you written this one? Okay. So um, just tell me uh, what are the equations? If there are any way I can write yes. So the equations are five five x one plus. minus 2x2 plus 3x3 equals to minus 1 yes minus 1 and uh, next one would be your minus 3x1 uh, plus 9x2 Plus x3. Yes, I math ka class nahi hota hai online pe. Board rehta to sahi hota. Because jisme likhne ke chakkar mein bahut saare chiz chhut ja raha hai. X2 minus 7 x3 equals to 3. Okay. So 
So these are the equations you will be solving. So uh, this you can see is a diagonally dominant. And so if it's a diagonally dominant, so what I will do? I will simply go for the x1 value. x1 value at r plus 1 iteration will be equals to 1 by 5. Okay, minus 1 plus 2 x2 at rth iteration. This is r, okay and uh, minus 3x3 sagnik tell me if i am writing anything wrong x2 r plus 1 equals to uh, minus 1 by 3 uh, equals to 2 minus uh, 9x2 9x2 at the rth iteration minus uh, no no i'm the value i'm finding the value of x2 right yes yes it will be divided by 1 by 9 1 by 9 okay then uh, it will be two minus 2 plus 3 x1 right 3 x1 uh, minus x3 now it's right r okay now for the value of x3 i'll be finding x3 r plus 1 equals to 1 by uh, 7 minus minus 1 by 7, minus one by seven. then uh, 3 minus 2 x1 uh, plus x2 right plus x2 x3 here no huh. yes sir okay now you have to make a table and you will find the value x1, x2 and x3. First assumptions of you all should be 0. Okay. Now here this side you will be writing iteration uh, x1, x2, x3. Now one by one, just tell me the value of uh, first iteration. Minus zero point two. And others should confirm if anyone is saying the result. Others should confirm that it's okay or not. Zero point two then. Zero point two two two. Zero point two two two. Then. Minus zero point four two eight. Minus zero point four. Two eight. Okay, a, a eight. Hai. Second iteration. Zero point one four five. Have you done with Excel or you are doing it, Sagnik? Uh, just X one second iteration. I have done. X two and X three. Okay, okay. Second good, good, good. Do not make a habit of doing Excel. Okay because you have to use calculator and all so it's a 0 0.145 then then it's coming yes 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 do it any uh, anyone else would like to uh, put the value तुमको ये देखना है मैं एक छोटा सा ट्रिक बोलता हूं हिंदी में ठीक है ना कि तुमको ये देखना है कि जो तुम डिवाइड कर रहे हो राइट हैंड साइड में जिससे डिवाइड कर रहे हो वो लार्ज एलिमेंट होना चाहिए ओके व्हाट द लार्जेस्ट इन दैट इक्वेशन जस्ट लाइक 5 9 7 दैट मींस if uh, book according to the book if i talk you have to do you have to consider the diagonally dominant bahut sare log diagonally dominant ko comprehend nahi kar paaye to main unke liye bata raha hu ki what you have to do you have to divide the right hand side the division you are doing 1 by 7 1 by 5 uh, 1 by 3 whatever you are doing that should be the largest value in that equation 
ओके मतलब हम x1 की उस वैल्यू को लेंगे जिसके कॉफिशियंट सो x1 के सपोज यू आर सींग थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड तेर इज ए नाइन एक्स वन एंड सो वन आई विल बी टेकिंग नाइन एक्स वन वैल्यू एज द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स वन एंड फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन आई विल फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन बिकॉज नाइन इज द लार्जेस्ट कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स वन एमंग द थ्री और फोर इक्वेशन इज इट क्लियर टू एवरी वन इज इट क्लियर टू एवरी वन ओके एंड सेकेंड एक्स टू वैल्यू एक्स टू वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो टू थ्री यस एंड एक्स थ्री वैल्यू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन सेवन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन सेवन दिस इक्वेशन और दिस थिंग्स यू शूड मतलब कल के लिए भी मतलब फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्लास यू शूड कीप दिस रिजल्ट बिकॉज यू विल बी कंपेयरिंग दिस रिजल्ट फॉर द नेक्स्ट इटेरेटिव मेथड दैट इज गॉस्ट इटेल इटेरेटिव मेथड ओके सो डू इट अप टू इक्वेशन नंबर इटेरेशन नंबर सिक्स और सेवन देन यू विल बी सींग द रिपीटिंग रिजल्ट एंड one result or the final outcome will be writing that okay yeah, this results are repeating so this is how this is my answer so let me check with excel okay i can do it with uh, excel right but you shouldn't be doing or using excel so x1 value will be um it can be written as minus 1 uh Plus two x two, two x two, two star x two, and minus three x three. Hmm. Divided by five. Yes, minus zero point two. आ गया. Now for this, I'll be doing that two. And f two will be uh, so it will be three x one, right? Three x one, three star x one. Okay. And minus nine. Uh, Minus x three. Minus x three. Zero point two eight five seven one. So it is divided by nine. It is divided by nine, right? Yes. We are guilty, correct? Okay. Zero point two 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 two. Yes. Yes. एंड इसका कितना आएगा इसका है थ्री माइनस थ्री माइनस टू एक्स वन टू एक्स टू ठीक है प्लस एक्स टू प्लस एक्स टू डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन The sign is minus. Ah, uh, sign is minus. So it will be a minus sign, right? Minus. Minus one point three five. Ahi aa raha tha kya? No, ye ye. Ye sir, upper wala minus aa raha tha. Haan haan. Minus zero point four two eight five seven. Minus zero point four two eight yes. हाँ इसको हम डिलीट करते हैं एंड ये फाइनल नहीं है हमारा सो ऑल जस्ट सिंपली ड्रैग इट आर यू सीइंग द रिपीटिंग पैटर्न हियर 
in general you should convert within 7th or 8th or 12th iteration i don't know are you seeing the repeating result from where you are seeing the repeating result from 10 or 11 okay aur bhi karte hain theek hai na actually this doesn't converts nicely this method that's the drawback of jacobi method that's why we have proposed advanced method that is gauss seidel method that will be discussed okay so these values are coming almost same these values are coming almost same these values are coming uh, almost same right okay so this will be your final result from here you can see it 0.473 0.473 yahi se start ho gaya so if i take only the third decimal point so after doing 11 and 12 iteration you can write this down the result or after doing the 16 or 17 iteration you can write down the result so this is your final result this is i'm doing the uh, doing with the help of the computer or excel but uh, in yes 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 someone Sir, can you show me the second iteration so so it's not coming minus 0.3175 Or x one. Zero point two eight five. Uh, is uh, is it's not coming. The res. Uh, we are not having this result. Zero point two. Zero point four five. Zero point. Uh, it's not coming. Zero point three one seven. One minus two. One minus. Uh, so one so plus. One plus. Plus. Whatever. Now it's coming all right, or uh, still you are not having that yes, result. Yes, sir. It's coming the same. Now for this one, it's coming okay, right? I'm going to delete it. Generally, this is a problem. As I said, it is set that in five six iterations, you will come. I will take it to ten. So you can see that results are repeating at each iteration. Where uh, is it repeating? Five or six. सिक्स से रिपीट हो रहा है ना सो सिक्स से सिक्स और सेवन करके तुम बोलोगे कि दिस इज माय फाइनल रिजल्ट ऑलमोस्ट सेम आ रहा है दिस इज योर फाइनल रिजल्ट ओके सो जीरो पॉइंट वन एट सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री वन जीरो पॉइंट फोर टू टू एंसर ओके नाउ इन योर नेक्स्ट क्लास आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द गॉस सीटेल मेथड In the meantime if you have any question